Hi guys, I'm super excited because finally I'm allowed to share sort of a secret with you. I'm talking about the brand new engine that I believe is the next revolution in paramotoring, is the next big thing and a true game changer. I'm talking about the new four-stroke 240cc single cylinder from EOS that I was privileged to make the first flight ever on this engine. I believe it's the next big thing because it is the first true four-stroke alternative to our two-stroke engine. I'll take the Vitorazzi Monster Plus as a benchmark. I believe that's the best engine on the market, actually. Now, this four-stroke from EOS has almost the same weight. It's like 200 grams more than the Vitorazzi. It does have the same power. Uh, I didn't measure, but it, it really felt the same in the air and uh, it, it comes with a clutch so it absolutely matches the performance of the Vitorazzi Monster Plus on paper. Now let's talk about how it feels on the back and in the air. It fires up really easy, it's, it's pretty easy to pull start, uh, pretty much the same as the Monster Plus which is great. It idles really calm, it wasn't that way in the beginning, Month, one month ago when I flew it for the first time but after a few modification modification is great now it has really really good linear power it doesn't have this boost in the mid-range that the two-stroke have due to the tuned exhaust I mean some two-strokes have the boost stronger like the Pelinis some have it more more linear like the uh, like the Vitorazzi Monster Plus but none of them is ideal. Now the two, now the four stroke is really absolutely linear. The dosing of power in the mid range is amazing. I have, I have done a little foot drag with it and I strongly believe this will be the absolute foot dragging dream machine for sure. It's very quiet in the air. You definitely notice the difference in noise. Absolutely, it's a lot more quiet. Uh, four strokes are known for having uh, very little fuel burn and this is absolutely confirmed with this machine uh, on the very first occasion i made three flights within 44 minutes i would estimate that 15 minutes on the ground preparing for takeoff and landing and uh, 30 minutes net flying time within these 30 minutes in the air i burned one liter of fuel just amazing currently we are undergoing a long-term test our goal is to put 100 hours on it within the first two months and so far it seems to confirm this fuel burn so you get two liters maybe slightly above two liters per hour this literally means uh, you uh, you get double flight range with this engine than with the two strokes alternatives. Now the obvious question of all pilots would be reliability of this engine. Uh, it's too early to make any conclusions on that. As I said on the first occasion I had three flights within 44 minutes and the reason for that was that I had three engine outs. Now there was a problem with the carburation uh, there was something installed in the wrong way, so the engine died three times when I released the throttle quickly. But this is solved already, I'm, I will not bother you with details. It's done. Uh, Roland from EOS managed to fix this. Uh, then we had a bit rough idle at the very beginning. Then Roland made a few modifications first. He decreased the compression ratio, uh, probably sacrificing maybe half horsepower. Uh, and he also installed a flexible hose into the pipe. It definitely helped to reduce the idle vibration, but this flexible hose broke twice already in flight. So we had to change it to a different one, probably higher quality because it already has a few hours on it and seems to run really good. Before we make any, any further conclusions, we need to put hours and hours on that engine. So to sum up, I'm super excited about this engine because it starts really easy, has a very calm idle, has very linear power, does have the same power as our two-stroke engines. 
and consumes half of the fuel, so giving you twice as much flight range. So I'll keep you updated. I'm curious how this engine will perform uh, in the long run. I'll keep you updated and uh, yeah, stay tuned.